Although, I think I was... I don't think I'm as impressed. I'm as impressed as I could have been, because a I I can't remember. I can barely remember this dungeon since the last time I played it was when I was a kid. But it's also um uh, um uh, from my perspective, it already happened with um uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Was it Galaxy Two? I don't remember. Darn it! Oh, got him. Got ya. <laughs> Did not think that was gonna work. Alright. What what's in you? Ooh. Alright, so I can go back to that um uh to that fire spot and chuck another lump of ice there, which yeah, I'm gonna need to do that. But first Ten bombs. Alright, so I exp I'm expecting they want me to blow something up in here. Nothing else here. Alright, let's head back up and um, uh, get some more ice. Actually, I just remembered something. There's been a couple of bombable walls that have been walking past. Let's check this out real quick. Oh, I get it. Okay, so five up. Five up, one left, three down, two right. Okay. First try. And a key. So now I can open both those locked doors uh, the locked block and the um uh, locked door in that room over there. Also, I can't remember any Zelda game which required you um, uh, carrying ice around in a, in a place filled with fire, with the exception of Breath of the Wild. Okay, place it down gently. And not gonna lie, I thought for a moment there that bat destroyed the ice. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty cool effect. And as someone who's who's um uh, trying to work on, our, uh oh, will this deflect the beam? Nope. But yeah, as someone who's like I'm um, uh, working on uh, on an RPG maker game. I'm uh, I'm uh, looking at my uh, puzzles from various Zelda games, or just classic top-down perspective games like this. is pretty good. It's pretty good idea material for what I'm looking for. It's like I might end up rewatching my Oracle of Seasons play. I might end up rewatching this later down the road for ideas. Oops. All right, so it's not. Shaping the armor spirits into those. Whoop. Nice to have sword beams again. Which is funny, because I think I've... I don't think I've ever used them properly, because I keep getting hit. That was just out of spite, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, anyway, uh, where's your next round here? So now I can go up from here. What's down this way? Alright, that's from before. So, Vaz here. I'm not gonna smash that yet, just in case I actually, um, uh, need to push it somewhere. That's where I came from.
And, uh... Well, what the... We've got six people watching? Almost everyone must have something better to do today. <laughs> so, sorry, must have must not have anything better to do today. Alright, what's up these stairs? <laughs> See ya! Ah, okay. Uh-oh. So now if I bring the ice through this way, I can, um, uh, put it down that hole. Uh, where's the... Here they are. Yeah, that was weird. I don't, I don't normally get this many people watching. I had six. It's dropped down to four now, unfortunately. But still, um, uh, thank you. Avoiding these sheds is going to be the problem here. Especially these guys. Good. Alright, and... Yeah, that's that one up there, so... Let's see what that does. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty cool effect for the Game Boy Color. And get out of here. Actually, yeah, boomerang. Dealing with a couple bats around here, so. Alright, and thankfully I've got a key. And that's the boss door. Alright. Alright, save real quick. Uh It's most likely gonna be this because that's that's the dungeon item. I'm surprised I'm surprised that thing missed every shot when I was frozen. Alright, I think I just need to hit hit it with my sword. Easy does it, easy does it. Damn it. Easy doesn't do it. Still, that... That could have gone worse. At least I know I just need to wail on it with my sword and use the rocks cape to dodge. Yeah, I'm just thinking, I'm, uh... I don't think there's anything else for me to do, um, uh, after do this dungeon besides the final boss. Because, um, uh, I don't really have any interest in going after all the heart containers, because while the extra health would be help, well, helpful. Actually, um, uh, while the extra health would be very helpful, um, uh, I don't think it'll be helpful enough to want to make it worth it. See, my reason for that being is that I'm uh, I'm going to be taking a ton of damage anyway, and I'm probably just better off just just trying to dodge. 
So, yeah. And I'm pretty certain there's no level armor or anything. Oh, right. Ah, missed. Actually, wait, there are stairs here. Yeah, this entire bit is sorted out, so all it needs to do is just... Actually, all it needs to do from now on is just try to get to the bottom floor. So really, any entranceway is, is good. Yeah, um, other than the shield, I don't really... There isn't there hasn't really been any form of um, uh, extra defense, like um, uh, a level 2 tunic or anything. Like blue mail, blue ring, stuff like that. Alright, now I've got sword beams. Wait, will they do damage? Nope. Damn it. And Oh, nearly. Alright, so I don't think there's any way out of that. So I don't I don't think struggling helps. Oh right, I forgot. I can I can jump and hold my sword out at the same time. And, ah, nearly. Yeah, so I can dodge and and charge up at the same time. All right. Nice! That was nowhere near that hard. Alright, just want to check something real quick. I've got two heart containers. Sorry, heart pieces. So which means there's six left in the overworld. I know where one of them is. You've got the changing seasons, an essence of nature. Scattered seeds sprout in spring, grow in summer, bear fruit in fall, and sleep through winter. It is an endless cycle of life, the changing seasons. Tom. You already have the eighth essence. The changing seasons have filled me with my former power. I have something to give you now, so come see me. We'll do just that. Yeah, I don't really see a point in getting the last heart, heart pieces. So I'm probably just going to go straight to Onox's castle. So, you know, we're about half an hour in, so... Yeah. This... This won't... This won't be a short stream. I'm just gonna point that out right now. Like... Maple, unless... Maple, and un, No, Maple. Unless you got a magic potion, which you do, and I'm having that. Shit. So much for that. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be an um. Uh, this is not going to be a um. Uh, just that. Just Oracle of Seasons and Steadfast Ring. Get knocked back less. See, that hasn't really been an issue other than when I'm in like giant ass pits. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm probably going to throw in an another game straight after. Like, it's not going to be the game I intend to play after, but I don't know. We'll see what happens.
You've finally gathered all eight essences of nature. You've become a true hero who understands the essence of nature. You are hope for all that live. Sorry. Take this seed. You got a huge Mako seed. This should penetrate evil forces. Tom, surely now you can defeat Onox, the General of Darkness, and free Din, Oracle of Seasons. Gwahaha, some hero. About time he showed up again. Come if you dare, Tom. If you are the their so-called hero, then their hero is no match for my powers of darkness. Gaha! Well, we've been challenged. Yeah, I'm. Uh, actually, there is something I want to do. Okay, first off, what's with these? What's what's with these first? I think I'm actually going to go around and fill these in, just because they're kind of bugging me. Because, like, what are these supposed to be? Yeah, if I'm not going to go after all the heart pieces, I might as well fill in the rest of the map. I think to get to that... I think to get to that top one up there, I'm going to need to go for the Sunken City. Wait, it's down here. Actually, wait, hang on. I might. I think I planted a gasher seed up here. Nope. Oh, I'll give it a skip. Actually, have I planted any gasher seeds lately? I'll check that out after after I fill in the blanks on the map. Also, it does feel good to actually have sword beams again and actually put them to good use. Anyway, um, uh... So... Yeah, I think it's just go down and all, all the way right. Left, sorry. So yeah, I just need to just need to go through there, which I think is no, it's not this way. It's, it's past um, uh, the Goran Mountain. <laughs> I thought that was the power bracelet. I don't know how I did. I probably missed. I think a part of me was mistaking it for the um, uh, uh what's it called? Um, uh. The silver and golden gauntlets from uh, Ocarina of Time. Just to be fair, that that's a game I might stream sometime. Uh, mostly because like I can run N N64 emulators. I don't think I don't think they'll be as bad as like how pa how Paper Mario was. But um, uh, it's, it's, I think I think that was. Mo more or less like the ROMs issue rather than like the emulator itself. And I think I've got a... Wow, I can beat those lions in three hits. Okay, so those three gaps is um, uh, the way to Onox's castle. Duly noted. Alright, so... So where do I go? Let's try North Horon first. I think it's this way. Yeah, it looks it. Alright, let's keep going. Also, one thing I really like about the endgame stuff with... Um, oh, bugger. 
Actually. No, I don't need to go that way. Actually, do I? I forgot I can swap.